What's going on? How are you guys today? Just spent about an hour in the freezer to start my morning to do all of the orders that were placed on Sunday night. And I also got to do some organizing and we might do a pretty nice giveaway. So stay tuned for that. But my neighbor is spraying so much perfume in the vents. I bet you if I a little lighter or something, this whole place should go up in flames. I, I, I know perfume's flammable and I might be exaggerating a little bit, but I'm glad my uh, camera isn't giving off any sparks. And with the faulty electrical work in this warehouse, I guess if he was really spraying that much perfume, but the point is the smell is overwhelming. I hope I don't get a headache. So I'm just gonna finish getting some stuff in the freezer organized. We'll take a look at some products and then maybe we'll walk around and talk a little bit about what's going on this week. Since I'm completely losing my mind, we're gonna do a ridiculous promotion this week. So we got the bone and ribeye steak. That is very, very, very affordable. This is like $30 for a gigantic two pound steak. And if you buy a bone and ribeye, you're gonna get a free Wagyu strip loin with your order. Uh, what ended up happening was one of our distributors had a lot of extra Wagyu strip steaks. We got them at a pretty good price. So if you guys do get a bone and ribeye, we'll give you a Wagyu strip steak for free. Now, if you look anywhere else online, people are going to be selling a Wagyu strip steak like that for $30, $40, $50. So as much as I can do that, as I just stated, I'm literally losing my mind and I really don't care. So uh, that's what we're going to do this week. Hopefully we get you know, a nice amount of orders. But I only have 100 of the strip steak. So it's going to be the first 100 orders. There might be a chance we don't get 100 orders this week for that promotion. So uh, if that's the case, then we will also send out some orders next week. Uh, so if you guys are watching this video and you place an order Thursday or Friday and you get your free strip steak, then I expect it to be shipped early Monday next week. So let me jump back in that freezer and uh, maybe I'll get rid of some brain cells so I don't have to think as much. Man, I'm so over this shit. Maybe I should just start walking around Whole Foods with some stilts on and I'll find a rich housewife to buy me a Porsche. Or maybe I just need to stop wearing these ugly sweats. So we have the bone-in rib reorganized just to show you guys what we have. 2.5 pound steaks, two pound steaks, which are the majority of them, a lot of two pound steaks. We got some 1.5 pound steaks and some 1.25 pound steaks. So uh, whichever price point you guys are at, you know, these I think are less than 20. These are gonna be around 30, $35. So check that out. You get the free Wagyu strip when you order one. So I got down here around 9.30. It's only about 11.30 right now. I still have to do the Frankie's Range foods orders and the organ supplements orders. I didn't schedule a post office pickup today. I could tell the guy to come, but I think I'll just go through those orders, see what I feel like doing, see what stuff I have to make on organ supplements for tomorrow. And then I'll try to get out of here by like 12 or one o'clock. So I don't have to sit in too much traffic. It does look really nice and sunny out today, so maybe I'll just see if I can get home within an hour or two and lay out in the sun for a couple hours. Maybe I'll feel better. But uh, the weather says it's supposed to be cloudy, so there's a pretty good chance that if I get home, the, uh, no, we have AC, but it's dripping like crazy. A lot of water. New York's finest. Should we bottle that up for you guys? Great. I just got reminded that the organ grind is coming tomorrow. So I know a lot of you guys have been emailing me about it. It's probably the highest in demand product. A lot of you guys also have been asking what's in it. It's 10% liver, 5% heart, 5% kidney, and then the rest is just a regular ground beef mix. So we will have that available as this video goes live. The bone and ribeye promo with the free Wagyu strip. You could also get the organ grind that you guys have been waiting for. And I think later this week, we're gonna have the beef belly back in stock. I'm not sure how I'm gonna portion that yet. And that's probably not gonna be available until next week. Uh, so if you guys have been waiting for the beef belly, which isn't as much in demand, we will have that back. So some of the cheeses are running a little bit low. I will try to restock the cheddar this week. And then if we run out of anything else, I'll place a cheese order within the next two weeks. You know, I'm surprised meat sales haven't been higher considering the pricing of all the other vendors online in addition to rising meat prices. 
you know, kind of doesn't make any sense to me when we've basically kept all of our stuff priced the same with the exception of you know a few steak items but even so we're priced way lower than everyone else online and still a much higher quality product so we still got all the best bars in stock we have our salts I'm gonna look into that glucose powder for you guys because I don't know what's going on with the nature's glucose I did want to apologize I ran out of water kefir uh, I think I got something going on with the Mountain Valley spring water and growing the grain so hopefully I can get that back by the end of this week uh, so thank you guys for being patient if you've been waiting for the water keeper to get back in stock. So I don't have everything I need for organ supplements. I think what I'm going to do is come in early tomorrow. I got to spend a couple hours making a few products. Uh, then I got to fill the foods orders. I'll have a USPS pickup come. And then hopefully I can muster up some energy to make the Frankie's Naturals products and see what we have for Wi-Fi shielding, uh, which actually won't be ready for a month and a half, two months, because the fabric is gonna take at least like four weeks to produce. I actually got really sick last Friday after I ate that sandwich. Like the second I ate that sandwich, I was like sick, coughing my lungs out for like two, three days. I'm just starting to feel better now, but that's what can happen when you take, you know, 15, 20 different foods you haven't had before. Chances are something was wrong with one of those and I would argue that vacuum sealed pork cold cuts, despite being organic, are probably gonna have some pretty harmful bacteria that can give you some issues if you're not used to it. And that might be why my energy is a little bit lower, but maybe we'll try some, uh, some lamb testicles and some caviar one day and, and if I can get my energy back um, and get some work done. Yeah, I'll get out of here early. I'll come in tomorrow. I'll do everything. And since this video is being posted tomorrow, uh, I'm not going to have a crazy amount of orders to do, but then on Wednesday, I'm basically going to have to buckle down and probably only do meat orders. So if I can get everything else done for all the other businesses on Tuesday, uh, that's probably mandatory. Uh, but thank you guys for joining me today, and of course, thank you for the continued support. Yeah, I was just thinking yesterday, like, I was supposed to have some relief at some point, and I, I watch other YouTube channels sometimes. Um, there's a new one that's getting more popular, Timepiece Gentleman. Uh, there's a guy that has a construction company in, in London, is uh, Asheville. And the reason I'm bringing those up is because both of those companies have like full camera crews and videographers that are producing their YouTube content. And I've been doing this stuff on my own for like five years and it's just so, so much. You know, that video I did yesterday on vitamin D, like part of it was because I needed to do the video. Another part of it was because you know, that only took me an hour to, to film and produce and edit and everything. So, you know, just whatever I can do to crunch down time. The reason I do these vlogs every Tuesday is because, you know, it's not that much more effort and work writing scripts and filming and editing. But at this point, it's just getting to be too much and I can't really afford to hire someone else or discontinue posting every day. I used to do the live streams three days a week. And then when I took, you know, one month off to have my jaw surgery, people stopped joining me for the live streams. So. That basically went out the window. Um, but uh, enough complaining for one day, so uh, I guess I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow. So I just got home, but I forgot to mention that a majority of my work day is answering emails, making a few phone calls, and most importantly, updating the products on the website, and making sure all the inventory is correct. So I'm probably going to spend another two or three hours doing that, you know, making sure there's no mistakes, making sure there's no issues with any order. And I also have to make a few corrections to some orders I printed earlier, like if people ordered towel or something on its own, I gotta change the shipping label, box size, stuff like that. So, you know, it really just never ends and uh, hopefully I can eat something today, uh, which I'll probably try to do now and then maybe lay down a few hours and uh, hopefully feel better tomorrow.